Week 18, Lesson 6. Okay, so this um, lesson is on kind of graphing, making the connection between what the graph of a function and the graph of the derivative look like compared to each other. So for number one, um, we're going to fill in the first column with um, the values of the function. Right here's the function, and here's the x values that I'm going to want you to plug in, and it should end up looking like this. And when I graph that parabola, it should end up looking like this. And then if we do the derivative, right, this is asking us to come up with the y values of the derivative. So the derivative of this function is just negative 2x. And when you fill in the chart, it looks like this. And then when you graph it, it looks like this. But even more important than that, I want you to see a connection. All right, so going back to purple, okay, again, going back to purple here on the parabola, all these slopes, if I drew a tangent line anywhere there, the slopes would be positive, all right? In fact, let me draw a couple of them, right? If I drew this, oh, wrong pen. If I drew that tangent line, positive slope, that tangent line, positive slope, that tangent line, positive slope, this tangent line, positive slope, right? All of those have a positive slope. And over here, if you look at this part of the line, these all have a positive y value. You can see them over here, positive y value. Okay, likewise. Here, if I draw the tangent line, sorry about that, let's see if I can get that to work better. There we go. If I draw the tangent line here, right, that tangent line has a slope of zero. And look at where this green line is crossing. It's crossing at zero. All right, and then over here, let me highlight this part in a different color. This over here on the, on the parabola, all of these tangent lines would have a negative slope. And you can see all of these are negative as far as y values. All right, so again, that's what I'm hoping that you're starting to see. So now let's just go ahead and answer these questions that the problem's asking. What is the x-coordinate of the vertex of the parabola? So I'm looking at my graph at this point right here, and the x part of that is 0. Okay, what is the slope at that x value? Well, here's the x value of 0, and this is the slope. So it's also 0. And then is the parabola increasing or decreasing to the left? So over here, this is increasing. Is increasing, which you can also see here that these slopes are positive, positive slopes. Okay, so let me scoot this up. Okay, so I'd like you to uh, fill this thing in, and while you do that, I will magically fill it in like this. All right, and if I graph it, it'll look like this. And hopefully you're seeing on the purple line, when the slope is increasing, we're here in the positive part for the derivative. Here, where this ends up being an, a maximum point, we're at zero on the parabola. When this is coming down, right, this whole area where the purple graph is coming down, we're down here in this negative area, all right? And likewise, when this is increasing, then this is up here in the positive, okay? All of that in the positive. So let's see if I can get rid of some of this. Well, I got rid of all of it, but you already graphed it. Okay, so the extrema is where the graph either does this or this. So on your graph that you still have on your paper, I'm, I apologize for mine being erased, but it is what it is. There is an extrema at negative 2, 2, and one at 0, negative 2. And how could you find the extrema without the graph? In fact, maybe it's better that my graph disappeared, because here I can tell... I have some sort of an extrema here because the slope is zero, and I have another extrema here because the slope is zero. Okay, so derivative. Okay, it's where it equals zero. 
All right, and then scooting this up, let's take, given that this is the graph of the function, we're gonna make a sketch of the derivative. Okay, so here's how this works. I know that this is an extrema point, which means that the slope has to be zero. I know this is an extrema point, which means there has to be a slope of zero. I know <clears throat> that this is increasing, right? It has a positive slope. So that means as far as the derivative, it would have to be positive. Okay, positive meaning positive y values. Okay, positive y values. I know that that's like a negative slope, but that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the fact that this is in the positive part of y. Okay, and then between here and here, that slope is negative, which means that the graph would have to be something negative. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Negative, right? Negative y values. And then lastly, here, these slopes are positive, right? The slope there would be positive, which means that this would also have to be in the positive area.